scheduling and joining a meeting in Zoom using JAWS. And for this first task, we're going to be going over a few different ways that you can schedule a Zoom meeting. I have my current focus in the Zoom desktop app, which you can download for free from the web. And once you're here and you're signed in, you can navigate this in a couple of different ways. If you want to use Insert Z, Zulu, to turn on your quick nav, then you can use B for button, etc. But I've primarily navigated this with tab, and I'm going to continue to do this because there is a lot of tabbing in this task. There's a lot of fields we need to address. So there are multiple ways to do this, as there usually are in many of our tasks. I'm going to go through the schedule button in the Zoom desktop interface. There's also a create event button, but we're going to go through the schedule button today. Schedule button. And I just was able to tab and my focus was put there. I'll press enter. Enter. Schedule meeting loading. Schedule meeting. Schedule meeting. At Zoom slash client dash scheduler document. And here, let's see where my focus is. I'll use JAWS key up arrow. Topic edit Freedom Scientific Zoom meeting. And that is the name that's put there by default. So we need to navigate this dialog in forms mode. I'm going to press space. Sometimes it doesn't work the very first time. Space. But it did. Cool. And we'll delete what's here. G C C C C and N C type practice P R A C T I C space for Zoom. F -O -O space Z O O L. Because I'm going to need another Zoom meeting here shortly. Date and time. Start date at a combo collapsed read only. June 14th, 2024, 06 slash 14 slash 2024. That's today's date. So that sounds great. Start time at a combo collapsed. 1030 a.m. Now these are drop downs, but when you're in forms mode, you can go ahead and type the time directly into this element and it will put it where you where you set it at. So for example, I want to have a meeting around 9.45 my time. So I'm going to press 9. 9, not 9 a colon. Colon. 4, 5. 4, 5. Space, a.m., 9.45 a.m., 9.45 a.m., 1 of 1. And that's where I'm put. I'll press enter. enter. Start time at a combo collapsed, 10.15 a.m. <laughs> date and time, start date at a combo, June Let's 14, look at that 2020. Again. Because I think what it actually did was set my opening time correctly, and it set the closing time for the meeting 30 minutes later, which is actually what I wanted. So let's go ahead and tab. Start time at a combo collapsed, 9.45 a.m. Right. So it did do correctly, even though Jaws said something a little bit different. End time at a combo collapsed, 10.15 a.m. By default, these meetings are 30 minutes. Now, there are a lot of different decisions you can make about your meeting. I'm going to tab through. We're going to talk about some of them. And some of them are pretty obvious, but this entire time I'm just using tab to navigate. End date at a combo collapsed read only. June 14th, 2024. Time zone. Central time left for us and Canada right for button collapsed has pop up list box. And so this is my time zone. And this meeting will appear for the invitees in their own time zone. Recurring meeting checkbox not checked. Attendees. So here I can actually send out invitations and designate attendees. Attendees at a combo collapsed. I can go ahead here and I can type in emails, etc. But I can also just share a link to this meeting. So we're going to continue to tab. Enable continuous meeting chat. Added attendees will have access to the meeting group chat before and after the meeting. Toggle button pressed. And this obviously is exactly what it said it was. This gives extended access to the chat window before and after the meeting and gives participants the ability to download it as well. More information about continuous meeting chat button collapsed. Generate automatically radio button checked. One of now this has to do with the Zoom security. I do recommend that you leave this as is. As long as someone has a link for the meeting, they can join and they will not need the actual passcode. And sometimes messing with these security settings when you're scheduling a Zoom meeting can cause you some more problems with people joining. Passcode, only users who have the invite link or passcode can join the passcode edit 931919. And Zoom will generate a random passcode for you. You don't have to set this or memorize it or anything. Passcode, learn more button collapse. Like I said, if you do have the meeting link, you will be able to join. Waiting room, only users admitted by the host can join the meeting checkbox checked. 
This is another security feature that allows you to essentially review people as they come into the meeting. We're going to be talking about a little more later and how to manage your participants within a waiting room. This is just a good way to make sure nobody's getting into the meeting that maybe you don't want there. Only authenticated users can join. Sign in to Zoom checkbox not checked. This keeps people from joining as a guest. Like, if it's not checked, then they can still join as a Zoom guest even though they don't have a Zoom account. Otherwise, you can only have people who have verified Zoom accounts join your meeting. Off radio button checked. Two off radio button checked. Two of two. Let's see what this says. Off radio button checked. Telephone and computer audio radio button checked. Three of three. This gives people the ability to actually join your meetings via telephone. Dial in from your Outlook radio button checked. And this is designated as the way that I prefer to share my invitations and my meeting invites through Outlook. There are a couple different options here. Google Calendar radio button checked. Outlook radio. Other calendars radio button checked. Outlook radio. And so those are radio buttons. You can up and down arrow there to make a different selection. I'm going to leave it on Outlook. Advanced options button collapsed. Here is some more options you can get into for security, etc. Cancel button. Save opens calendar invite window button. Here we go. I'm going to press space on save. Space. Enter a start and end time that are later than the current time. Zoom dash schedule meeting dialog. Enter a start and end time. Ah, my meeting time is not good. So let's take another look at this. I actually miscalculated. So I need to set this for 1045, not 945. Let's go back and change it. Enter. Schedule meeting. Topic edit. Pre date and time. Start time edit combo collapsed. 9.45 a.m. So we want this to be for 10.45 central time, actually. So I'll just do what I said before. I'll type it in. No headings. Oh. Space. Turn on forms mode. 9.45 a.m. 1, 0, 10, colon, 4, 5, space, a.m. Enter. Start time edit combo collapsed. 11.15 a.m. Now JAWS does that strange thing where it announces the start time incorrectly. Let's shift tab. Date and start time edit combo collapsed. 10.45 a.m. But I actually did schedule it correctly, so... Virtual PC. That's the only change I want to make. Let's go ahead and quickly go back to that save button. And, and, and re attend more... J pass, 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 on, off, off, telephone, die, out, and cancel, but save, opens, calendar, invite, window button. And I will go ahead and press space bar here. Space. Schedule button. Practice for Zoom dash meeting. The meeting has been updated. Practice for Zoom dash meeting. Required edit. Schedule button. Task switching. Practice. And so if you remember during that dialogue, going through it, I had Outlook selected. And so as soon as I close that actual meeting window, I was presented with a meeting invite created in Outlook with all of the details that I put into that dialogue now in this meeting invite. So let's just take a quick peek. Required edit. That my focus is in the required edit field, which is where I put in attendees, but I'll shift tab. Title edit. Practice for Zoom. Alt plus. And as you see, it's the same title. Everything's the same, including the join info. And all I have to do is go ahead and put in attendees. Required edit. Which I will. I'll, I'll go ahead and invite Elizabeth. E. A. I. Enter. And Carl. K. S. C. Enter. And Ron Miller. R. M. Ron. I. Robert Mill Ron Miller, enter. And I'll go ahead and hit Alt-S to send this. Alt-S, the meeting has been updated. Zoom workplace expires from schedule button. So, and there's my Outlook calendar reminding me that I need to go to this meeting I just scheduled. A reminder left, escape. I'll press schedule. escape. So that is one way that you can schedule a Zoom meeting via the Zoom desktop app. I'm gonna switch really quickly to Outlook and I'm gonna show you a bit about the Zoom plugin because it does make it very handy and very quick to schedule a meeting. And there are some additional steps. And if that's information that you need or want, you can either email us to get the steps to download the Zoom plugin or request it and we could do it as a larger training just to get that installed. Because once you have it installed, it's fairly handy. Let me show you. Record Zoom webinar tasks vertical bo schedule button. Records untitled dash meeting. Un All right. So I did open a meeting request before I started here with control shift Q and my focus is just in the subject here required edit oh no sorry if that's required I'll shift tab title edit alt plus L I'll call it test T, -E -T. we're not going to send this one test dash meeting required edit. 
and we can fill in all these fields, I'm going to tab to the location field because this is where you designate this as a Zoom meeting, and this is where the Zoom plugin comes in handy. Up, date, start, and date, and all day, time, make, loc location, edit. Okay, I'm going to do Alt, Upper ribbon, H, H, to go to the meeting tab, and then I'll down arrow. Meeting, actions, delete button, forward, zoom, schedule a meeting button, one of one, all I Alt have followed to do by H, Y1. Is go to this button enter. and press enter. Leader menus, the meeting has been scheduled. Test dash meeting, edit. And now this meeting has been scheduled. The Zoom room was created. All of that was done for me. All I have to do is fill out that normal Outlook fields. But the Zoom meeting info is already in the body of this meeting request. So that's very handy and a very quick way to schedule a Zoom meeting. We're going to move on next to how to join a Zoom meeting and a couple of different ways to do that. For this next task, I am going to show you how to join a Zoom meeting via a link. And this assumes that you do have your Zoom, your Zoom already signed in, and it'll get you there really quickly. So I'm in my Outlook calendar. I'm going to tab. Project Management Sync Record Zoom Webinar Tasks, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Friday, June 14. And if I want to see the info about this meeting, I can use Control-O once my focus is on it. Control-O. Day View. Record Zoom webinar tasks dash meeting. Organizer read only edit. Sent read time read location edit. Semicolon Elizabeth Whitaker is it. Response read only edit. Change response. The corresponding Zoom link is below. One. And of course you see Elizabeth's note there. Now, depending on where the location is, whether it's Zoom, Teams, Google, etc., you may have to go into your meeting and look at the details. Sometimes there are some other really quick ways to join. But if you're not sure, it's always a good idea to look at the meeting details. I'm going to down arrow. Blank, blank, underline, underline, blank, blank, link, HTTP, blank, blank. The corresponding Zoom link is below. There we go. Blank, blank, link, HTTPS. And now once my focus is on this link, I can just press enter. Enter, HTTPS colon slash slash s 6 web dot zoom dot slash j slash 87 billion 361 million 868,317 p. All right, so that was a number, all right. And we have been you are muted. put right into the Zoom meeting. And no delay, no waiting room in this case at all. That is how you join a meeting via a link. And just like all the tasks, there are several ways to do it. But this is by far one of the easiest, whether you're sent a link directly or it's included in your calendar invitation. Scheduling and joining a meeting in Zoom using JAWS.